All right, so today is the first day that Dakota and I are working on Alex's store. Or, well, I was there one day, but today is the first, like, official day, let's say. I have to just offload all of this. I just was this morning at a lady's place who was giving away free wood, and I got a lot of walnut, maple, and oak in here, as well as some fir and some other stuff, but I just couldn't pass it up. So I'm gonna be late for Alex's, but sometimes you just have to have to get the get the reclaimed stuff, the upcyclable stuff. This came from one of my other clients. If you've been watching my vlogs and you've uh, you've seen that, but I gotta offload this so that I can load up all my tools so that we can get over to Alex's store. Probably gonna put a bunch of the wood in this area here. I don't know some of the smaller pieces. A lot of them are cut off. Just notice my coffin. It's hanging on by a thread that could have fallen easily. I gotta move that. Cool. This is like, this is like a moment where like Christmas or whatever, you know, when you're just like, dude, sick. And it's got like the big emblem on the back. Cool. That's cool, man. Where did you get it? Oh uh, my, the one of my clients gave it to me with that big metal trunk. And he's like, hey, I have this. You're into weird stuff. Do you do you want this? And I was like, oh, my brother would love this. Yo, dude, if there was like a like a nose sticking out of here or something. Yeah, you could do like a zombie shoot. You could do all sorts of different dude, things. Dude, this is tight. Has it been used before? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> you know what? Probably someone used that as a... <laughs> it smells like death in here. It has armholes, so probably someone used it as a as a. Did you say air holes? Armholes, like someone cut the sides out. Someone oh, probably used this as a Halloween costume. Yeah, it might be a Halloween costume, but no, it's ripped. It's not. It's not. Incidentally, right where the arms are. Yeah, yeah, but someone ripped it on purpose. Because they were trying to escape. Maybe it is a Halloween costume. I don't know. Why would the bottom be out? Like that's. Maybe I don't know enough about <laughs> about this stuff to know what I'm wearing it. Well, if you're trying to lose weight, this is definitely a great sweat bag. Whew. So if you don't follow my brother, he does macabre style uh, photography. You should check him out. He's right here. Uh, there will be his info will be in the description. We're basically just packing up the tools now. We got everything unloaded, so we're gonna pack up the tools and head out. We're not sure how much work we're gonna get done or if we're just gonna be doing planning or what, but we're gonna take as many tools just in case. We, I mean, who knows? What a monstrosity. Okay, we're at Alex's store. We're basically going to modify these shelves so that they don't block the windows and so that they actually have maximum capacity and we go all the way up to the ceiling, there's a whole thing. So first thing we gotta do is take it out of down, do some measuring, and then figure it out from there. challenge with working with this old wood well not the fact that it's old doesn't really make a difference but this is rough sawn it even has like the bandsaw marks on it and stuff but the the edges are very winged and this was thrown together however many years ago 100 years ago or more uh, for a purpose and it's still gonna serve that purpose but it's like they built it in place rather than like with certain dimensions in mind because there's Every measurement is slightly different, so they kind of just worked with it rather than uh, rather than making the the product work for them. They worked with the product, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that <laughs> exactly, but basically they just got the wood they had. It seems like they had no table saw or something, so they were just like, ah, we'll just we'll just use this. It'll be fine. Uh, so measuring this up and stuff, it's a little difficult, but we'll get, we'll get it. <laughs> Okay. 
So we got that one somewhat done and now we're working on this one. We're going on both these hundred and some year old shelves right beside this painting of this hundred year old, uh, at least iconic to us person. This is a painting that I painted a while ago of Mary Borgstrom. You should look her up. That was the last project that I was working on with uh, Alex's, her old house. But anyways, we're, we're basically reclaiming these old shelves. We want uh, the shelves to hit the ceiling and uh, not cover up the window. And to do that, we had to take out all the shelves, obviously, so they can go around the window. And then we're gonna build a, I guess, a cubby system underneath this shelf and that shelf. And we're trying not to destroy them, but that piece came off. Good thing we have wood glue. Well, we don't have it yet. Alex actually went to go get it. So when he comes back, we'll have wood glue. <laughs> just, I got a glove. <laughs> just save that piece and we'll, we'll glue it back on. What piece? Huh? Okay, so we got the shelf up. We have it just propped on this, but it's anchored into the ceiling. It's, it's actually fine, but we have that just in case. Basically the new stuff is the yellow. The 100 year old stuff is the brownish red. Um, we had to modify the base a little bit from this where it just sticks up to this so that it's flat. And we're gonna, we, we've been screwing everything where screws don't show, but here the, uh, the wood show. So we're going to nail it. And so we don't split the wood. Here's a trick that you can use where you just hammer down the point and that way, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, it won't split the wood. And this goes in here. No split. All right, so we got, it sort of started, wanted it you know to stay on the wall and it's staying on the wall so it's up there and it looks pretty pretty snazzy i don't know if that translates on video Dakota's trying to lock the front door we have to uh lock up because alex isn't here but that's one that's gonna get stained to match oh, mosquito almost got me there and i think it looks pretty good there's still some work to do but uh we don't have time to stick around much longer but yeah, we just all we have to do is you can see that they're all crooked and stuff. So we have to straighten it all up, and then uh, that one will be good for stain. Looking pretty good. But anyways, we're taking off for the day, and we should be coming back shortly. I think sometime soon. Anyways, I think I hope probably. Well, it's been a few days. Uh, if you've been following my Instagram, you know what I'm up to. But I've been working up this piece working up the layers and stuff uh it's early ish in the morning so uh i had some time to work on it but now i'm gonna head back over to alex's and see what kind of mess we can make today i think we're only working for one day me and Dakota, so gotta pack up all the tools and then uh hopefully get a decent amount done with that shelf gotta finish the shelf we we finished a decent amount but working with 100 year old material that's old and rickety and actually was not built good in the first place. It's uh, somewhat of a challenge, but it's it's not it's not that bad. So heading out to see uh, if we can make a bigger mess today. Just at the orange store getting uh, material. We were gonna get these, which are just a single piece of wood, but to match the shelves, we actually found these here and they're much cheaper where they're laminated. Uh, they're pre-laminated and they will match the uh, the shelves a little better. So we're gonna gather up some of these because they're gonna look better. Once they're stained and stuff, they should match a little bit better than what we have. We're doing this on a, on a budget, so labor time and all that stuff, this will help a lot because it's already laminated. Looks good. Well, it doesn't look that good. It's Home Depot, let's be honest, but it looks decent, so. We also have to look for some molding that matches the molding that's already there. We're, we're making two shelvings, two shelving units that are built at different times and look 
differ from each other have the same molding so uh, we have this painted or primed stuff it would be nice to have uh, just regular old wood like this this is uh, oak so it's a little uh, I think it's oak yes it is oak yeah um, we want it to be uh, stainable to match the rest this is sort of close but it's not wide enough and it's missing the end of the contour that would go right here we're not surprised that they don't have what we need uh, it, it, that thing's a hundred years old so we're gonna get what we can and then we're gonna head over to the store made it to the store we're just unpacking some of the tools to get uh get started on these shelves Alex is in there painting already so should be a good day all right so we have it somewhat up and it probably looks decent on camera but that is sloping the way that this was built a hundred and however many years ago they probably built it in place or something like that so it, it fit probably the building it was in and also the time has probably not been too kind to it so we're trying to straighten it out a bit we're also going to take out this shelf here so that we can put this clock uh, body in here which Alex uh, wants to put in there because this was already cut out a little bit so we're just making it functional um, I told him he should sell watches in this he likes puns and stuff so that would probably be a, a good idea it was my idea so it is a good idea <laughs> but uh, there's Alex he's painting um, so basically we're starting with this we're gonna try to finish this up real quick and then we're gonna head over to that one we started that one uh, the last day we were here but Today we are going to finish it. Okay, so we got that nice and level, which caused that one to be out of level. But since that's so close to the wall, we're not worrying about that. What we ended up doing was just pushing it over. This is staying in place, pushing that over. Now you'll see that these are sloped down going towards the window. And to fix that, we'll have to take out all of these supports and then put that board down. But it's getting cut out right here and that one's not nearly as bad so we might be able to not have to do anything and it'll still look fine plus when this is full of merch and stuff no one will know and then once all this is stained and stuff and put together and permanent it'll be super good i think we're also going to stain the wood like the supports here before we put them up and all of these are going to have uh, just so you don't see the end grain they're going to have uh, a little trim piece put over top of them and that way they will won't have this so just because the lumber is a different size than back in the day we just basically got off the shelf stuff uh, the widest that you can get and it's just not quite wide enough because a hundred years ago 12 inches was 12 inches nowadays it's 11 and a half sometimes it's down to 11 and a quarter just depends on how they cut it at the mill so uh, that is gonna be remedied uh, they're just all gonna be sanded and uh, uh, stained first makes it easier then you don't get it on the wall so we just realized something and I don't know why we didn't check this before we just took we just took it for granted that they'd all be the same length. We, we took for granted at least one measurement would be consistent, but it's not. <laughs> These supports here are 58 and a quarter. This one here is 59. So we need to cut off three quarters of an inch, uh, which I have marked already. We're gonna buzzsaw Louie that off of there, and that will make this shelf almost, almost good, because this is 58 and a quarter, this is 57 and an eighth. So to cut off an eighth there, it's just not worth it. So we're gonna go with that. That should solve our issue, hopefully. Go ahead.
Okay, so I'm taking a break from doing the, the shelf. Look how small my Big Mac is. I don't, I don't know if that, that translates on camera, but this is freaking tiny. Let's see. It looks huge now that I held the camera up to it. But that is probably, Josh is so concerned with this, he's vlogging and I'm vlogging. And he's, well, this is like life creating art. Look, watch my channel and then watch his, you'll see them both. <laughs> but that is one, t I will agree, that's a tiny McDonald's hamburger. This is like a slider. This is so small. Well, let's see the patty. Well, Cody, you gotta take that top off, take the lid off. What? Mm, oh, there's a chunk missing out of it. Yeah, you're mostly just bun here at this point. That's a lot of carbs. You're, you're eating three layers of bread with like a, a schmear of hamburger in there. Yeah. But didn't you leave that in the car like all yeah. day? I, it was in the car all day. Maybe but it shrunk. Shrinkage. Yeah, you gotta allow for shrinkage. Just that like was... when you're using wood. <laughs> I... <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta edit that out now. It sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna edit it out of mine. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> this is crazy small though. <laughs> I don't get this. But look at the progress. We got the cabinet in. Uh, for whatever reason, there's like four layers of drywall on these walls. <laughs> but we got it in. Um, we got that shelf completed, almost. And we got this shelf up. It's propped up with that stool. Doesn't really need to be, just a kind of a precaution. Um, we got it looking pretty good though. Alex is doing the ceiling here. Yeah, it's kind of green color. You can see it's, see it's still wet. Oh, I see. What and then Shakota and I are doing this. I'm just stopping to eat because I, I, uh, I forgot to eat this earlier. But I mean, this is like a three bite sandwich. Probably people doing the eat. Go get some some trim. We decided that we're gonna go uh, with whatever trim we can find. Take off the old stuff and go all new all the way across. And we'll use the old stuff on something else. I'm just looking in this Home Depot here. This one's different than the one that's in uh, the, the town that I live closer to. And they have all this fake beech wood and like rustic reclaimed. It's all like it's all new roughs on, and they just paint it and whitewash it trash and then they have these huge not huge but pretty decent sized slabs and uh they're so expensive 128 dollars for that and that's that is not worth 128 dollars but since it has the live edge tricks people who who don't know uh into buying it that's trash like look this this board here is seven dollars they could sell that for 200 dollars too it's got a live edge to it. Man, it's ridiculous. You guys don't buy that stuff from a place like this. It's not worth it. Looking right here, you can see the heart of this cedar tree. Um, this is likely going to fail in time. Uh, this is just for railing. Uh, you put your spindles in here, but that looks really pretty. I really like that. I would be tempted to actually just buy that just for the piece of wood and use it for something else, but it's got all those uh, holes drilled in it. I'm just looking for the trim. I don't come to this one very often. This is the one that Alex's dad works at. Ah, here we go. Oh, these are railings here. <laughs> come back with a railing. I'm seeing all this painted stuff. The pine stuff is always uh, painted. And we don't want it painted, we want to be able to stain it. They have hemlock here and they have oak. So hemlock is the soft wood, but it's like the hardest of soft woods. And uh, some uh, really old uh, fur might compete with hemlock. But this stuff is very not good quality. I mean, it is Home Depot, so you can't expect the highest quality, but I don't think that's gonna work. It's kind of expensive, it's like five bucks. About uh, 450 a, a foot, but the oak is, I don't know, I guess it depends on what you're getting. $5 a foot as well. All right, just got off the phone with Alex. He said, go with the oak. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some uh, 
trim up today i just gotta choose which one i think would look best something with a decent profile in it i think it would be better uh, rather than like something a little more uh modest i'm not sure what to get it would be nicer if they had wider stuff but this will probably work all right i decided on these i got just a little bit extra a couple feet extra just in case we can't run into problems or whatever got this oak this profile should look pretty good We're done check out this cool thing so this is i mean if you're watching the video you already know but this is what uh alex came up with i think that looks super cool we changed the crown uh molding and actually we used baseboard because there was no crown molding um and it looks pretty good i think the windows for those of you who are hoping that the windows would be cleared they are clear and uh we used up basically every bit of wall space that we could to make uh, as much uh, room for merch and stuff. And then there's the showcase and stuff that we put in, in front of it. I think it looks super cool. This is probably my favorite. This is gonna hold watches and clocks and stuff or whatever, probably mostly watches. And that, that's obviously an old clock uh, cabinet. And then uh, this here is different than this, but they kind of go together. If you weren't paying too close attention, you would just assume that it was the same shelf, but they're two different ones that came from the same store, but they're different. To make it look old and stuff, Alex put on a bunch of stain and he's gonna let it sit, doing some uh, distressing, I guess you could say, <laughs> and uh, making everything match. So you can't even really tell uh, that the old and the new aren't aren't the same. I mean, you can tell, I guess, but the styling is all all the same all the way all the way down. So, yeah, so the whole cabinet's 100 and some years old. I guess it's not a cabinet, but it, the shelf is 100 and some years old. It was not built very good. It was probably built to suit their needs and they kind of just did whatever. It's not plumb or square or even the, <laughs> it's not even the same uh, depth everywhere all of these are the same size but all of the trim pieces we put on them each one is a different size uh, so it gets it's skinnier on that side and it gets fatter out here and then fatter or then skinnier again and then same with that shelf that shelf is different all of these uh, up and down risers or whatever you would call them all of them are crooked and all of the shelves are slanted but 
we we took a lot of the crookedness out of it, and so it looks pretty good now. Um, it's totally perfectly functional, so it doesn't matter. I'm not sure why they would have built it so strangely bad, but they did. But it's still cool because it's a hundred and whatever amount of years old. There's Dakota taking a picture of his handiwork. Mm, that's good. Yeah, no, this was a cool build. Stay tuned for more. There's going to be another whole room to do, and it's it's going to be dope. There's going to be a lot of stuff that is like a creative and like out of the box coming coming up for the rest of this build. So yeah, and if you don't follow Alex, this guy right here, and my brother, you should follow them. Their stuff is going to be in the description.